Fisker has announced that it will adopt Tesla's NACS connector as standard on their electric vehicles. Like other automakers who have made this move, Fisker says that the adoption will come in their electric vehicles starting in 2025 and that it has reached a deal with Tesla to use its supercharger network. Fisker says that it has this deal to provide adapters until they can actually get it inside their cars, which will be in the first quarter of 25. Now, this also coincides with the announcement timeline for Fisker's pair crossover vehicle, and by that point, we're expecting a timeline on either the Ronin supercar or the Alaska truck. Both of those were tacked onto a presentation quite recently, and we are watching from the peanut gallery anticipating their arrival. Tesla has launched a product called the Tesla Universal Wall Connector. The charger is aimed at non-Tesla EV buyers in North America, and it looks pretty good. It actually just looks like a regular Tesla wall connector, but it does have the Magic Dock, which has an adapter integrated for J1772 plugs. Otherwise, it has all the same specs as Tesla's regular home charging solution, and at $595, it's also not that much more expensive than other chargers, which is quite competitive. Tesla says that deliveries are starting in October, and at Electrek, we anticipate pressure for other home unit manufacturers as a result. The move to the NACS connector has already given Tesla a giant advantage since its home charging solutions are already much cheaper than competitors. But those competitors at least had a few years to adapt before other automakers like Ford and GM fully adopt it on their vehicle programs. But now, this is becoming a much more attractive solution for non-Tesla buyers. Fisker has shared a few more details on its upcoming Alaska truck. It includes what they're calling the world's largest cup holder, because I know that's something that many people have been asking for. Now, during the initial debut, during the product vision day, as they called it, we learned that the Fisker Alaska would offer between 230 and 340 miles of range, which is now confirmed to be with options of a 75 or 113 kilowatt hour battery. We can also expect to see single and dual motor options and a 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration time ranging between 3.9 and 7.2 seconds. Some of the new details are the total length of the truck, which is 17.4 feet. It'll also feature an insulated front trunk, which is quite interesting. For some more niche features, the Alaska truck has an interior roof band to hold a cowboy hat, a front passenger tray that can hold a tablet, and a very wide cup holder. That cup holder seems to be a large clamp that holds a big gulp, or maybe a big water bottle, and that's below the center screen. From the pictures, it looks like it would obstruct the view of the center screen, but for the front occupants, it probably won't. Fisker is aiming for a starting price of $45,000 before any eligible federal tax credits. However, with a very busy staff working on different projects, delays could erode that price target in years to come. 